right, yes, yes. Okay, you're ready? For, okay. I'm Catherine Cardell, and I'm standing in front of the front entrance to Central Little Rock High School. And the day is September 4th, 1957, and we've got some what we've got some some disruption going on over on one of our side streets. Today was supposed to be the day, September 4th, 1957, that uh, classes began here at Little Rock High School. But there seems to be some controversy. Uh, yes, yes. The nine nine students, uh, nine African American students, are uh, beginning their first day. Uh, Brown versus Board of Education allows them to to go to the all white, previously all white Little Rock High School. But it seems as though the students are having a hard time making their way to. Let's, let me let me just send you on over to um, Jenny. She's on one of the side streets where it looks like the Little Rock, there's only eight of them coming up right now. Right, right. Are we live? Okay, hey, so I'm standing here with the crowd um, next to Elizabeth Eckford. She uh, has gotten cut off from the rest. The eight are already in, but now there's a mob forming around us. It's crazy around here. There's like a lot of crazy stuff going on. She's trying to get in. There are people yelling horrible, horrible things at her. She just wants to go to school. Um, it looks like, hold on, let me see. If, it's hard to see in this crowd. It looks like there's a woman, a white woman, coming through to escort her to help her out, but the mob is getting really crazy. So let's cut back, Catherine, let's cut back to you at the school and see what else is going on. Hi, I'm Catherine Cordell. We're back here live in front of Little Rock High School. And uh, honestly, folks, uh, I know that this is a breaking uh, story that you want to hear, but it's getting too dangerous for us out here. The Little Rock police are, are, are here, but it, it's just a mob mentality. So I think what we're going to do is we'll get back to you uh, with this story. Um, I understand that the Little Rock Nine have all left the premises, and there's going to be a meeting at the home of Daisy Bates. Uh, the Little Rock um, head of the NAACP chapter. So we'll get back with you just as soon as we have more information. Good morning. It is September 5th, 1957, and after yesterday's events, we have some breaking news. Uh, our governor, Governor Favis, has released a statement saying that he will not give any protection to the Little Rock Nine. However, President Dwight D. Eisenhower has now said he will be sending in the National Guard. Um, we'll have more information on this in 10, 15 minutes. There's going to be a statement issued at the home of Daisy Bates, so stay with us and we will bring that to you live. Good morning. I'm Daisy Bates, and I am the president of the Little Rock chapter of the NAACP. And I have with me here in my home this morning, these are the nine uh, black students who just simply want to attend Little Rock High School. And what we've decided is every morning we're going to meet at my home, and we will go together, and we will be escorted by the National Guard that way. Uh, we can assure that everyone is going to be safe and what happened to Elizabeth what you saw yesterday uh, won't happen again and so that's our plan for right now and I just thank you all for um, for your support <laughs> 